I'm Paul McGuire. Welcome to The Countdown. We begin this week with the Washboard Union, who dropped by Olay's Red Arc Studio to celebrate the release of their brand new album, What We're Made Of. It just gets better and better for you guys every single time I bump into you. And, and this is this is good because it would be awkward if it was going the other way. <laughs> but every time I bump into you guys, things are getting better and better. And uh, um, is it, I, I'm going to paraphrase the, the first line from, from Shine uh, uh, incorrectly maybe, but you've been waiting... I've been ready for this day all my life. Am mm-hmm. I getting that pretty yeah, close? Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you're yeah. never going to give up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Won't give up. But uh, uh, it, it really is. You guys have been working for this for a long time, and uh, it just it really seems like you're ready for it. Does it make sense? Yeah, it yeah. does. It does. We were actually talking about it this morning how, um, I mean, music has just been such a big part of our lives from the very beginning, individually and together, that it just that you couldn't think of anything else you wouldn't be doing. Yeah. It's just, it's just in you. And it can seem like, um, for a lot of people that maybe have never heard of the band before, it can seem sort of, you know, very abrupt in terms of all of a sudden more people know about you. But it just feels as though more incredible things have just been happening consistently since we really got going. And, you know, we got asked, like, when did you really know that it had changed? And it's just there are so many of those unique moments. Most recently, being out on the road with Old Dominion, the first time we're stepping out into arenas, and people know the words, but not just to the single, but they know the whole show. That has never happened before in our entire lives. Yeah. And that, that is such a crazy moment. You can't look them in the eye or you forget where you're at in the song. <laughs> but That's a game changer. It's, a, sure. it's really been amazing. And you know, to that point, I mean, I know that in that moment, I had that moment of like, well, are, do we do we belong here? Is this... Like, is this what we've actually, is this what we've, we've been wanting this, we've been asking for this, we've been working towards this, but is this like, are we actually doing it? Like, this is it. You know, because it's, it's terrifying sometimes stepping in front of, you know, 10,000 people and doing your thing and they're screaming your song and going, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, you know, like they're ready for a show. They've paid money to be there. They're expecting a show. and. I guess in that moment you're kind of like, well, yeah, we have earned this. Like we're working towards this, and this is this is the culmination of our efforts to this point. What we're made of is available now. The album's title track makes its top twenty debut at number twenty this week. We're a country song, Rocky Mountain High, loving how we're living and we're doing it right. Got a feel good flowing through our blood. That's what we're made of. The Washboard Union, What We're Made Of, making its debut at number 20. Tim Hicks has a brand new single on the chart. It's from a new album, the follow-up to Shake These Walls, due out later this year. Desperate to know more about this new project, I FaceTimed Tim Hicks. What's happening? You look good. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, yeah, I just had a little rehearsal with the boys, and uh, the train keeps rolling. Yeah, what's, uh, what's the status right now? So you've got a single in the top 20. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so... Um, New record coming out, pre-order June 1st, record gets released uh, June 22nd, Loud's the first single, people seem to be digging it, super exciting about the NHL thing, never saw that one coming. So Yeah, yeah give me some details about that. Yeah, so um, it kind of happened, uh, well, like, it's, when you write a song, it's, it's hard to force those kinds of things, so we were trying to write a show opener, same guys, like Todd Clark, Gavin Slate, T-Buck, yep. same guys that wrote Stomping Ground, Thunder, Slow Burn, yep. all those songs. And we wrote this uh, thing called Loud and sort of snickering about the one word title thing because at the time Luke Bryan had Fast. Yeah. And we were talking about one word titles and someone said, well, if Tim Hicks had a one word title, what would it be? And T-Buck goes loud. <laughs> <laughs> so it just made sense, right? So we wrote it next day, passing the mix around. Someone goes, this would be really great for a sports. And uh, the managers got involved. And next thing I know, they're like, yeah, NHL licensed it. They're going to use it all through the playoffs. But the kicker is this, like, when the NHL licenses songs, they license 25 songs and they say, listen, we want to clear these songs, but we don't, and, you know, your song's in the pod, but we don't know if it's going to get used or how it gets used. Yeah. And uh, we just lucked out, man. It's been used all over the place. Bumper music and um, uh, highlight reels and social media stuff. And they seem to be really digging it. Well, that's amazing. And I know everybody here is going to be happy about that as I sit here at Olay's headquarters in Toronto because Gavin Slate, I believe, 
is an Ole writer. An Ole songwriter. He sure is. So yes. that's good. Yeah. Every, you know, it was, like I said, it was just a happy accident that that happens. And then this, for the very first time in my career, the stars align. Like the week that we released the song to radio is the exact week that, that the NHL playoffs start. And it was just, it was really cool. You know, I know what you mean by you can't force those things. Because if you guys sit, sat down to like say, let's write a song for the NHL. It it wouldn't really work. It, well, it might have worked. Who knows? But just it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't work it. the same way, does it? We've done it. We've, yeah, we've sat down. We've had with those guys and with Copeland and and everybody. We've sat down and gone. Okay, guys, it's sports anthem day. What do you got? Yeah, we need we need some of that hockey money. We totally. need some of that baseball money. Totally. And <laughs> it, it, we you know we we did that one time and we wound up with the worst song I think I've ever written. So. Uh, <laughs> It, you know, it's just one of those things you just can't, it's just got to fall out. And it was just lucky. You know, we just got lucky. Yeah. And, and it's almost like uh, they, they, they listen to it, not as something that was designed for them. That's patronizing or pandering to them. It's yeah. something that they want to, well, that, that they feel fits them, but that wasn't kind of like, I don't know, tailor-made or bespoke for them. Right. That's right. And I think that's the, that's the, that's the kicker. That's what you can't force. Loud makes its chart debut at 19. David Lee Murphy's Everything's Gonna Be Alright featuring Kenny Chesney is down one spot to number 18. Everything's gonna be Good Together from the James Barker Band slides down 10 positions to number 17. Keith Urban's Coming Home featuring Julia Michaels moves up two positions to number 16. High Valley's Young Forever drops one spot to 15. Jason Aldean's You Make It Easy drops down six spots to number 14. My better half, my saving grace. You make me who I want to be. You make it easy. And Dallas Smith's One Drink Ago, featuring Terry Clark, is up three positions to number 13. Oh, it's 3 a.m., just the two of us, standing here wondering how we'll ever live without. Dallas Smith, One Drink Ago, featuring Terry Clark, up three to number 13. Luke Bryan, Nelly, Tim McGraw, Backstreet Boys, The Chainsmokers, Florida Georgia Line really like to collaborate. And who can argue with the success? Their most recent team-up with B.B. Rexa, Meant to Be, now holds the Hot Country Songs record for most weeks at number one for a female-led song. 25 weeks, to be exact. Surpassing Taylor Swift's We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. So you can be sure there will be more musical hookups coming from FGL. Tyler Hubbard shared some thoughts on the subject. I think it'd be cool for continuing to get out of the country world, you know, and do something out of our box. We got a lot of respect for Bruno Mars. I think he's amazing. Justin Timberlake's amazing. I think we could do something cool together. Do you know who else is random that I think would be fun to work with? It's Cardi B. I don't know if that's so random, but I think that'd be cool. BB Rex says meant to be featuring Florida Georgia Line drops three spots to number 12. And Long Live the Night from the Rec Logs moves up three positions to number 11.
The Rec Laws, long live the night up three spots to number 11 on the chart. All right, 10 down, 10 to go. It's time to head to Hollywood for Zach Selwyn's One Minute Music Minute. It's the One Minute Musical Minute. Welcome to the One Minute Music Minute, live from my kitchen. My name is Zach Selwyn, my daughter's back. Hey, it's time for bed, you gotta floss. Not that kind of floss. Country Music Television, CMT, has greenlit the new reality series, Bachelorette Weekend, which documents Nashville as the hot new town for bachelorette parties. In related news, Garth Brooks is opening a strip club called The Thunder Rolls from Down Under. Willie Nelson abruptly canceled a concert this week, claiming he had a stomach bug. Coincidentally, a stomach bug is also the name of an edible chocolate marijuana cookie. Smoke up, Willie. Warning, spoiler alert here. The new Star Wars movie, Solo, which is number one in the country, has an unexpected cameo from Garth Brooks. The, what's that? It's not Garth, it's Dar Darth? Darth Maul? Who does our copywriting here? It says Garth Brooks in the teleprompter. You're fired. That's it for the one minute music minute. My name is Zach Selwyn. We'll see you next week. I hired my daughter as our new copywriter. Anything you have to say about the new job? It's the one minute musical minute. Bop, doo -doo 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 -doo. Thank you, Zach. Follow him on Twitter at Zach Selwyn. Back to the chart. And into the top 10 we go with Paul Brandt. All about her from Paul's new album, The Journey. Moves up three positions to number 10. Paul Brandt, All About Her, up three to number 10 on the countdown. Tennessee native Morgan Wallen's debut album, If I Know Me, came out a few weeks ago, and so far, things are going according to plan. His single, Up Down, featuring Florida Georgia Line, is a huge hit here and in the States. Morgan dropped by Olay's Red Ark Studio this week. Right here in Canada, as you and I sit here right now, you have uh, you got two tracks on in the top 20. Yes. Yeah. I guess the so. The Aldine track is still in there. Uh -huh. So congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank very, you. very nice. Yeah. And then of course your own with FGL. Yeah, man. It's it's cool to to be a part of a Canadian culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you obviously your singles on the on the US chart as well, but yeah, yeah. Aldine's, you know, what they do with Aldine, they pull them off if it's not like still super hot. So that's gone. Yeah, this is definitely my yeah. biggest one to date. Yeah. Um and it's super cool for me just because I'm First of all, a fan of his, you know, yeah. so I kind of grew up listening to him and have always loved his music. So to now be able to say I'm a, a part of that is uh, pretty special. The beginning of the new video, you're kind of on, you're on a dock and you're, you're kind of riffing with your buddy, yeah. right? You're riffing with your buddy. Is there any truth to that? Is that sometimes how songs happen? Sometimes, yeah. That that maybe not this song. I'll yeah. be completely one hundred percent honest. <laughs> but uh, it was a good idea, man. It's a great idea, <laughs> and I got to tell you, the, if it's if it's not the way it happened, the acting in it. I mean, I obviously figured it wasn't exactly, and it didn't happen at that moment. But the acting, you did, you pulled it off. Yeah, it's man. Very I'm, good. Yeah, I'm sending. We're sending my tapes around, just looking for you yeah, know, okay. little opportunities. Yep, for sure. Not Next really. Star Wars movie, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's one of the things I love about songwriting. There's really no, you got to do this and this and this and this and. Then you get a song, you know, it's not like a formula, it's just whatever. You're but like, what are, what are you doing there? What are you doing there? He's like, oh, I just got this little thing. Yeah. And that, that little thing turns into this big thing. And that's usually how it happens. I ride a lot with that guy. You do? Michael Hardy. Yeah, that's yeah. his name. He's like one of my best friends. And uh, Is that what he does? He just has a guitar? He's really good at doing around. that. He's really good at just little licks. And, you know, if, if one does hit my ear, it's pretty much like that. So it's just like, yeah, keep doing that, keep doing that. And then we'll, me and him do a lot of that riffing off each other. Like, and it'll just trigger wise. like a, a complimentary. Well, yeah, well, I mean, it, it obviously helps if we have an idea already, like yep. for a song, that helps. But yeah, it, it triggers, uh, I think new fresh licks trigger new fresh melodies that, that you might not have heard just with strumming or whatever yeah. you know so it helps to, um I, I me and him just have a really cool thing writing i don't know it's just ever since we met it's just been kind of easy you know yeah. not not necessarily easy but the the vibe and the connection is is there and i think that's that's probably the most important thing with writing if you if you feel good uh with that person and you know you guys connect you're not Your scared guard has to be down yeah, right exactly yeah you're not going to dig deep you're not going to throw out lines that you don't know about if you're not sure about that person either you, you, know? you, you might hesitate yes you don't want to have to hesitate no none of that speak freely yeah 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 yeah, yeah. morgan wallen's up down featuring fgl is up three positions to number nine the rest can turn this parking lot into a party with a nice chair stand. 
got some cold beer, man. We live it up, down, up, down. We live it up, down. Jake Owens, I was Jack, you were Diane, moves up two spots to number eight. Do you close your eyes? Does it make you laugh? Do the memories take you back? To six packs in a Chevy Cheyenne. Way back when I was Jack and you were Diane. Get Along, the leadoff single from Kenny Chesney's forthcoming 18th album, Songs for the Saints, moves up four spots to number seven. But we try to get along, while we can't always give love the upper hand. Paint a wall, learn to dance, call your mom, buy a boat, drink a beer, sing a song, make a friend, can't we all get along? Tebe's Denim on Denim drops one position to number six. Do you look like a lefty? In your back pocket, holding on so tight, going a blue jean heavy, a little denim on denim. It is currently the number one song in those United States of America for the first time from Darius Rucker moves up one spot to number five. Blake Shelton's I Lived It remains at number four for a third week in a row. Back in time, cause I'm missing. You wouldn't know to love it like I love it unless you lived it. The man I lived it. One number away from Luke Combs drops one position to number three. And Dirk Bentley's Woman Amen moves up one spot to number two. Dirk Bentley, Woman Amen, up one spot to number two, which means that Kane is king once again. So King Kane. That's right. Kane Brown's Heaven is the number one song in the country once again. All right. That is a wrap. Subscribe to Olay TV and never miss a thing. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at the Paul McGuire. We'll see you next week. Hey, I'm Paul McGuire. Thanks for tuning in. Click here. Here? here. I'm not a weatherman. Whatever. Click here to subscribe. Somewhere here to subscribe for more from Olay TV. And if you would be so kind, please like and share this video.